Let's start with the positives, right? John Krasinski and Rachel McAdams were good. Bradley Cooper was okay. Let's start ranting. Your old boss wants you back. It's Hawaii, our old stomping ground. Aloha. Gilcrest. You're back in the game. I want to introduce you to your Air Force liaison. She's a fast burner. A double espresso. Morning, sir. I'm so jacked for today. Make that a trip. Aloha. So Aloha is written and directed by Cameron Crowe and it stars Bradley Cooper, John Krasinski, Rachel McAdams, and Emma Stone. And basically Bradley Cooper, his ex-military, he, I believe he, I don't really know what he does. It's never really defined in the movie, but he works for the military. He ends up going to Hawaii where he has to do some sort of ceremony or something. And Emma Stone's there and Bill Murray is here and something happens with stuff and space stuff and missiles. It really, this movie doesn't know what it's doing at all. Or Bradley Cooper has to decide between, between Rachel McAdams and Emma Stone. That, that's all you really need to know because Rachel McAdams is married to John Krasinski and they have two kids even though he's still trying to get with Rachel McAdams. But yeah, there, between all the actors there is no chemistry. No chemistry between any of the actors whatsoever. It's just watching these actors who are charismatic but they don't have any chemistry between any of them it's like they're trying to build relationships but you really can't feel the relationships building Bradley Cooper has a conversation with Bill Murray and it just feels like two cardboard boxes talking to each other except the cardboard boxes are charismatic so everyone has charisma but none of them have any chemistry the movie overall do I don't think the movie doesn't know what it wants to be does it want to be a romantic movie? It tries to be a sci-fi movie at one stage, a supernatural movie. It tries to be religious. It tries to be some sort of espionage movie, some sort of war movie, some... Like, what? I'm not joking either. All those elements that I've just listed off are in the movie. They, they didn't cut it. They didn't... Like, it's someone spliced so many scripts together and put them in Hawaii and now, here's your movie. The child performances are bad. bad. One of the kids, his name is Jaden Libera. He's a very good actor. I highly recommend if you haven't seen him. He's in Saint Vincent. I, he's in another movie. I forget what it was, but he was also in. He's got, he's in Midnight Special. I haven't seen Midnight Special. I'm really looking forward to it. But he looks really good in that as well. The characters are confusing. The plot. The, the plot is confusing, the characters are undeveloped. Bradley Cooper, I don't even know what he wants to do. They tried to develop him, and it just doesn't make any sense in the, in the end, because you're trying to like, is he smart? Is he dumb? Is he a military guy? No? Yes? He's an arms dealer? Wait, what? Subplots are pointless, including throwing satellites up into space. That's a subplot. Pointless for the whole movie. The pacing is terrible. You can't, like, it feels like it should be. They say, oh, I'm only here for five days. But it feels like he's there for three weeks because everyone, everything progresses so fast and you're like, wait, this, this doesn't make any sense. And there are just pointless scenes as well. Scenes that didn't need to have to be in the movie and the movie's only like an hour, 40 minutes long. They could have easily cut this down to about an hour, maybe. If you fleshed out the script again, you would have ended up with a movie about an hour or 20 minutes long. That's easy if you just flesh the script out a bit more. Cut some scenes out, change some subplots, and you end up with like even shorter of a movie. There's not much of a cohesive movie in this movie. It's kind of like saying, hey, my grass, my lawn is overgrown and filled with weeds, but there's greatness in there. Anyway, for all that, Emma Stone, oh, I almost forgot, Emma Stone claims she's a quarter Asian or half Asian. Anyway, for all that, because Emma Stone's Asian, apparently. I will give Aloha a 1.5 out of 10. Have you seen Aloha? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the comment on the Planet Planet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.